All right. Welcome to Smokey Reacts. I accidentally hit the wrong button and have deleted this episode. So, <laughs> uh, well, not deleted. I fucked up the recording. So, I have to start completely over. But good thing we are only 39 seconds into that. So, it's not that bad. But I would like to say shout out to the homie that put me on to this. I had not known about this. So, we're going to check this out. This is Lippy's Living Room, episode one on Mixtape Madness. If there's more of these you want me to check out after I drop this one. I for sure come back and check out the rest, but yeah, let's see if I like this one at all to see if it's worth even if I like it, whether or not I want to be stuck having to watch it. So, like drilling, I was like, oh, let me see that shit. At that first one, shit like crack. It's just, I got my boy watching that now. Like, you seen this shit, nigga? You better watch this. But uh, yeah, thank you very much. Let's get into this one. If you could, please hit that like and subscribe, and let's get into it. Shout out to Lippy. I don't know who you are, so hopefully you, you teach me that. Where you off to, guys? My living room. The living room? My living Saint, room. St. John's Road, man. St. John's Road. St. John's man. Oh, yeah, that's what I was asking. That nigga grab milk. You niggas don't still have milkmen. That can't be a thing. It can't be. Yes, people, good evening. Good evening, and for the very first time, welcome to my living room. Get me. Obviously, I know you've seen me um, doing no, pics on social media and them thing there. Get me, got a little mortgage because of that and them thing there. Got Bless my little home. And Bless I thought up. I'll invite the people that got me here in here it's as simple as that man so this is lippy's living room it's gonna be every monday some rant some stories a little bit of advice for the kids because i think they need it it's been a long time coming man so i kind of thought i know a lot of you kind of like me doing this kind of story time kind of in front of the camera shit. but to tell you the truth it's kind of long like just sitting in my yard like with my phone in my face like chatting shit. like i didn't really have the energy for it, so the beautiful people in Mixtape Madness, they provided me with all this lovely equipment, lights, camera, action, even pay a little bit of my mortgage for me, cause you're done now, they're nice as well. And yeah, everything's lovely. I just kinda wanna talk about like my journey into becoming like whatever I am in it. I don't know what I am. No, a lot of people say I'm a social influencer, a lot of people say I'm an idiot, a lot of people say I'm all kind of shit, you understand? But for me, I've always been a man that's made people laugh in it i think i've always been quite funny whether it's intentional or not well, sometimes when i'm serious people laugh at me in it being the kind of person i am growing up the way i did it's kind of like it contradicts itself you get me i always talk about it. you're gonna say why the fuck does Tough you want to say this like we we get it bro but i was a road man if you never knew i was a road man i was on I the road that. i was gang gang i even had weapons sometimes i was a naughty boy i was very okay. bad and like I said, but I always made people laugh. Gyal like a man that can make them laugh. So on a on a gyal them section, nani section, it was alright. Everything's always been secure. Again, a lot about the roads is serious. You gotta be serious. Like even when you're finished in it, that's what I see a lot on social media. It's like if you was once a road man, you must forever have a little bit of road in you. Like it's like you always got a whether it's like a walk or like saying free your dog. That's you know he's never coming out. Cause you got like life satin in it just to prove like i'm still gang i'll be honest in it first time i made a video and it went viral you might not have seen it, it was for an incident happened on a tram where a, a white lady racially abused a black man and i just jumped in front of my camera and i chatted shit this was blackberry days it must have been like oh 10 or something Kim. The black cube sitting behind her with his nappy headpiece like looking like some dickhead <laughs> sitting there Smiling and shit. As soon as he realised someone's recording, he tried to stand up from some militant thing. He weren't on nothing. The man there just listened to the abuse. The man there's Batty man. The Batty man. The Batty man. The Batty man. The Batty man. 
and it just went kind of crazy. So kind of from then, I kind of thought, yeah, people like this, this is all right. I got a couple gal from this still. I started chatting shit in front of cameras. And like I said, it's gained me a lot of labels in it. It's got me to all these places. And here we are now in my living room. Why it's taken me so long to get to here is because again, like, you're supposed to be serious. Like when you're on the road, it's like certain men don't even believe me. They're like, that there's no way my man could have done road. Like, look at this. You see him in the video the other day talking about this and that. Like, there's no way. Then you got other man that's like, yeah, he's real. He's on his own thing. He's an individual. And it's a mad thing. But the majority, I'll be honest, the majority of people think I'm a prick. And a lot of the people I grew up with are dangerous <laughs> people. If they think you're a prick, they will test you. It's as simple as that. So, kind of on the back. There. Except I didn't have to stay on road, though. <laughs> But that's why I'm like, yeah. That's why I'd be like, I understand a lot of these niggas. I'd be like, are oh, you just like my dog? You you a wild ass nigga though. But you just like, I, I know three niggas like you. Like, okay, all right, hey. Back of my first viral video went around a couple man that I've been around that I hadn't been around for a couple years. And by this point, it's Snapchat and all of these things. And straight away, they started putting cameras in my face. Yeah, man's with Lippy, rare tear, real comedian. Comedian, I heard the word comedian, bro. And I used to call niggas comedians. I was like, if I called you a comedian, bro, you was lowest of the low. You're not even a pussy or you're a comedian, brother. You get me? You're not even an actor, you're a comedian. You're not even a comedian in movies, you're a stand-up comedian. Jesus. In an open mic bar down the road, that's free. You understand? Jesus. So it's kind of like, I can't be one of them. I can't be one of them. I hate to cuss ya. Max Comedy. Max Comedy. Big Shaq. The youth that wears the do-rag that ain't even that funny. My man with the tash, roll safe. Shout out to my nigga, roll safe. Hey, I love that nigga. That shit is comedy. It's peak. All I couldn't be one of them. I'm a road man, G. The other day I had a knife the other day. The other day I had a knife. And now I'm, people are laughing at me. It was mad, but the realness is, big up to everyone I just mentioned because laughter is what makes the world go round, man. In this ugly city that we live in, Things like banter, it makes it beautiful, you understand? Shit like social media that I fucking hate. You lot, you might not even laugh, you might just think I'm an idiot. Again, it is what it is. But I'm gonna try in it. You lot show me a lot of love, so I'm gonna show some back, entertain you lot. I'm not insecure anymore, you lot can laugh at me. I, I will cover my hairline though, because I, I ain't going through that. I know a lot of men are thinking, why the fuck has my man got a do rag on? Why? Why is my man? I didn't know his head, hairline was fucked up. Man, with DMX hairline, got a do-rag on because it covers the shit, bro. It's as simple as that. I could sit here in a hat, but it's my living room and that. You get me? So I'm, I'm comfortable. Let's be easy because everyone's on to me about my age recently. I don't know what's going on. Oh, at your big age. And it's just like, rah. Look at what your age mates are doing. And it's like, fuck. But yeah, Lippy's living room, man. Every Monday, make sure you lock in, make sure you share it. Big up the lads at Mixtape Madness for having faith in me, providing me with a mortgage. I lied, they pay for all of it. I would have been homeless if it wasn't for them. This is actually the only gums I own at the <laughs> moment. So please watch and share and maximum <laughs> love and respect. Lippy's living room, bow. Oh yeah, that shit was cool. That shit was cool. It was a nice introduction because I still I still don't know who he is, so I'm gonna I'm double back and do one more episode. But uh, yeah, that was cool. If you guys want me to do this after I drop these two, then let me know. But uh, thank you very much. I'm off to do the next one. I'm out of here.